All right, today we're gonna be making a spicy shrimp crispy rice. So to get started, take four cups of water and bring that to a boil. And then we're gonna need two cups of a Thai sweet rice. Now we're using this rice because it's a lot stickier than if you use another type of white rice like jasmine, and it's really gonna make a difference when frying the rice. Then you're gonna thinly slice a jalapeno on a mandolin. This is gonna be used as a topping. Then we're gonna take two green onions. We're gonna cut off the end, and then you're gonna slice the top, which is gonna go in the spicy shrimp. And then you're gonna slice the bottom, which is gonna go in our spicy aioli. To bring a little extra heat to my spicy aioli, I like to add in two red Thai chilies. So we're gonna remove the top and the seeds, and then you're gonna thinly dice. Now in either a mortar and pestle or a blender, you're gonna add in your diced Thai chilies, one clove of garlic, a pinch of your green onion, and then you're gonna smash until you have a fine paste or until most of the pieces have been blended. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of Japanese mayo, a tablespoon of sriracha, a tablespoon of soy sauce, and finally one teaspoon of sesame oil. Then whisk until well incorporated, and then you can season to taste or depending on thickness, add in more mayo or soy sauce. So now that your rice is finished cooking, we're gonna add it onto a parchment lined baking sheet and we're gonna smooth it out, make sure everything's even, take another baking sheet, press it on top so everything's compact and then we're gonna put this in the freezer for about 15 minutes just so it can cool down a bit and harden up. Now for shrimp, I'm taking a little over a half pound of some deveined shrimp. We're gonna remove all the shells and I'm seasoning just with a little bit of salt and pepper. Then we're gonna take a large fry pan and over medium heat add a couple tablespoons of olive oil and then add your shrimp directly in. We're gonna cook three to four minutes per side. Once finished cooking, we're gonna add the shrimp to a cutting board and then we're gonna finely mince until the shrimp is in small pieces. And in a small mixing bowl, we're gonna add in all of our minced shrimp along with the tops of the green onions from earlier. Then you're gonna add in your spicy aioli. You can add in as much as you want, but I went with about three tablespoons here. And then you're gonna give it a good mix and then your spicy shrimp is complete. Once your rice is finished cooling, you're gonna take it out by the parchment paper and I'm going to cut off the rounded edges here. Now you can do whatever shape you want. I did tiny rectangles and then we're gonna move to frying. So add about a quarter inch of a neutral oil into a pan, bring to about 350 degrees and then we're gonna add our rice into the pan, making sure to not overcrowd and we're gonna cook for about three minutes per side until it's nice, crispy and golden. Once finished, make sure to add your rice directly onto a paper towel to remove any of that excess oil and let them cool for a few minutes. Now for plating, I'm taking five of our crispy rice pieces. I'm gonna add that onto a plate. I slice a little avocado, put a slice on each piece, then take a heaping teaspoon of our spicy shrimp mixture, add that on top of each piece. Our sliced jalapeno from earlier is gonna go on top. And finally, we're gonna drizzle with a little bit extra of the spicy aioli, top with some black sesame seeds, and there you have it, spicy shrimp crispy rice. If you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.